All right, I know you've struggled with placing the rubber dam. Now listen, it's Dr. Ganatra here. If you've ever had an issue with rubber dam placement with any of your cases, whether it's endo, restorative, whatever it is, I'm gonna have Dr. Brett Gilbert walk you through exactly, chair side, how he places his rubber dam for all of his endo cases. You can even use this technique on all your other cases as well. So check it out. We're gonna go into rubber dam placement. Here we go. So for a maxillary molar, again, most molars that I treat, I like a number four clamp. So this is gonna be an example of that. And we use the rubber dam, again, it's a square. We use the frame hovering along the bottom, and then we leave the top a little more flexible to fold under for the patient's nose. For an upper tooth, you wanna have the U of the rubber dam and the U of the dam clamp both facing up. So think upper, upper U's, the U's are both open. If it was a lower tooth, then it's the reverse, okay? So this is an upper molar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit it what we do is we place the rubber dam clamp in position and we just tease the little wings around the little, um, the rubber dam around the little wings. And there it is, it's all in position. Make sure it's nice and neat. And now it's ready to go. So then we'll take our rubber dam forcep. We'll put it right down into the little holes here. And what this does is allows us to have a very nimble way to place this rubber dam. So it gives me an opportunity to, to move it and maneuver around the soft tissue, around the, the lips and cheek. I always like to put my finger on the buckle aspect. This allows me to get the cheek and the lip out of the way. And I'm gonna bring it over and we always can look through the rubber dam to identify exactly where we are. So I see that Sharpie marker that's loud and clear. I'm gonna spread the wings pretty deep. I have to kind of give a good push on this rubber dam forcep. And then when I release it, it's right there in position. So we'll turn this flat back, make sure it's out of the patient's nose. Then we're gonna use our endodontic explorer to release the wing. So on the palatal, I have a lot more flexibility because the palate is vaulted and I'm not likely to poke the patient in this direction. So you'll see how it kind of clips into space. But on the buckle, I always wanna make sure that I get the patient's lip or cheek out of the way. So you can see my glove through there. So I've moved the patient's lip out of the way and that way I can just release this wing very effectively. You can see it got caught there a little bit. So I'll come back and just kind of nudge it off. Sometimes it takes a little bit of effort or it gets caught like this. If you can kind of get under it, you can just kind of flip it back like that. And now we've got our rubber dam in place nicely. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, let us know in the comments. And most importantly, check out Dr. Gilbert's free endo training below the video. There's a link in the captions. Check it out. You're gonna love seeing how easy it is for you to integrate endo, find those canals, get the access opening, just get confident with doing more endo in your practice. And let us know what you thought in the comments of this video. We'd love to hear from you. As always, have an incredible rest of your day and live inspired. Thank you.